What's up YouTube? So I'm working on a Chevy Cobalt and the problem this is having is it's overheating. The owner said that he had the thermostat change. Actually he did that himself. Changed the thermostat, he did a flush and he had the water pump check. But for some reason he's still having a overheating problem. So I'm just going to hook up my radiator pressure test on it. And hopefully I see a leak. That way I could get that repair. If not, then got to take it a step further. And on this car, the radiator is right here. But there is no cap on the radiator. It's a sealed radiator. So the cap is actually on the reservoir tank. So that's where I'm going to be hooking up my pressure tester. And I'm going to be checking from there. Now this kit comes with all different types of adapters and it also comes with a chart that tells you pretty much what color cap fits what car. So this is a GM and it's a green, the green cap. So once I pop that out. And the car is cool by the way. Had it shut off for a couple of hours. So I take the cap off. Put that aside. Gotta get this one on. There we go. Make sure that's tight. Now the pump is right here. It's a quick connect. So just put it on. It snaps right in. And there's a gauge on the pump. Now what I'm going to do is look on the original cap and see the PSI. So here I got 15 PSI. So I'm going to pump air into this and get it up to 15 PSI, which is right here. That's at 10. Okay, so I got it at 15. And just let that sit there. Now, if it starts losing pressure right away, you know it's an obvious leak. But I'm going to let it sit on there for a while just to see. And while it's sitting, then I could just go around the car and start looking for any visible leaks. Check around the cap. Check the hoses that um, that's attached to it. Check the radiator hose, feel at the bottom. And it looks like I have a little leak coming from the bottom here. Let me wipe that off and double check. Okay, so after wiping it off, I'm just going to make sure my glove is dry. And I'm just feeling on the very 
end of the hose Let's see if I see any um, coolant nothing but I'll keep an eye on that anyway and this hose right here it runs back to the bottom of the reservoir tank so I'm just gonna try to get under there but it's it's right in here you can see the clamp right there that is it I'm just gonna try to get and you can see my finger moving try to get right up right up under it so I could yep and I have quite a bit coming out of it right here so let me take that apart and clean that up okay so after I cleaned it reach back up under there and um, get my finger back and I'm not really seeing anything yeah fingers dry I think this is from them adding coolant to it it probably spilled so, so far no leaks up top. I'm just gonna go look where the hose is connected to the bottom of the radiator. And it's right in here. It's nice and dry. It's nice and dry and on the radiator it looks fine see a little wet spot right there I gotta investigate that further but so far everything looks good I don't hear any any coolant dripping I don't hear any hissing noise from air leaking out of the system so I just have to double check here and try to see what's going on here and this is me looking up from the bottom looking at this um, plumbing line that runs to the thermostat no leaks no wet spots nothing so that's good I'm noticing a wet spot right here so I took this dust shield off that covered this entire area so I could kind of see up where the water pump is so I could kind of get to the water pump and um, I have a feeling the water pump is going bad but I'm not seeing any any new leaks back up top let me check the pump and um, it really hasn't lost pressure maybe just a little bit Yeah, I'm thinking this is one problem that um, I'm going to have to have them keep an eye on to see if um, anything gets worse. But so far, the um, owner said that he's been adding coolant maybe every three weeks. He got to add a little. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it to see if it gets worse. 
that way it'll be more visible i'll see exactly where it's coming from but i'm definitely gonna keep a close eye on that water pump also thanks for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe